Well, you may have heard about it in the promised land. It's honey we're talking about. Of course, it's milk too, but honey today is what we're discussing. Dr. Trudy Pieper with us now to talk about the many, many, many benefits of honey. It seems like a, a miracle substance, really. It's huge, the amount of things that, that you can use honey for. Um, I laugh when I think about it. Samson had it in the Old Testament, <laughs> um, and we saw John the Baptist in the New Testament. It's, yeah. it's been around for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah, and so many, many benefits. Of course, historically, it's been used as a remedy, but there's other, some other things like pain relief, um, softening skin, even things, many different effects that honey can have for us. It is. Um, it's my antimicrobial, which means it fights off bacteria. That's mm. its main thing. It does. And it does that because it's so thick. You know, when you get honey, you, you spread it on your bread or on, yeah. on bread or on a biscuit. Um, it takes a little work to spread that, especially if it's, it's not warmed up. And in that condition, no water or oxygen can get into the honey, and therefore it kills bacteria. It cannot okay. thrive in that uh, atmosphere. Yeah. Um, it also is one of the fundamental ingredients of hydrogen peroxide comes from something that's in honey. So yeah, I read that. And how, <laughs> so it's an antiseptic. Not only it, is it um, a miracle food, but it can be used for in place or as a hydrogen peroxide type. Right. It's an antiseptic. It's great for athlete's foot. You can put it on your feet, uh, for burns, for wounds, insect bites, anything for the skin is good for. Hmm. But I particularly like it for sore throats. Uh, people will call and say, I have this terrible sore throat. What can I do about <laughs> it? Warm water, honey, and a squirt of lemon. Wow. And that will take care of, um, it, it, it fights off all the bacteria in your mm -hmm. throat and makes it feel better too. Hmm. But most recently, the most important thing, Zach, that has just come out and I'm so excited about is that they found that honey uh, will fight against a lot of these um, anti-bacteria uh, uh, that are now being become resistant to yeah. all the antibiotics. Yeah. And uh, a, a college, a medical college in Ethiopia, has they tried an exam or a, I'm so study. sorry, a study. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they did a study against three different antibiotics and compared it to using ginger extract and honey. Mm -hmm. And it was found that the combination of the ginger and the honey beat out and had better, more effectiveness than the three antibiotics that they tried. And we're talking about, we're not talking about your, your common colds and then you're talking about superbugs here. Uh, MRSA, MRSA was one of them that, yes, they, that they, they tested, tested against and yes. it was very effective against that. Very effective. And they tested against amoxicillin, penicillin, and methicillin. And methicillin is used for staph infections. Hmm. And not only did they find when they did the combination of honey and ginger together that they beat out those, but individually, just using honey alone also was more effective than those three antibiotics. And ginger alone also was wow. more effective. Now, is there a benefit to maybe honey that we get from our area or maybe local honey, honey producers or buying it in the store? Is there a difference there? It's always better to get local honey, mm -hmm. uh, particularly uh, if you're using it for uh, allergies. A lot of people will, will take honey in their system and it helps them fight off their local yeah. allergies in their community. So it's always better to get it locally. Hmm. Wow. Now, I understand that it is important that you do not feed honey to uh, very, very young. And I did not know this, I'm thankful, not that I have any children at the moment, yeah. but I probably would have been feeding them honey, I don't know. It does, uh, any child that's under one years old, their, their gut or their intestinal uh, digestive tract has not been developed enough with the bacteria. We've talked about you know, good bacteria and bad bacteria. Yeah. Well, they have not developed those bacteria enough. And in honey, it contains uh, a bacterium that carries spores. And after age one, they have developed enough that their bodies can fight that off and it's not a problem. Hmm. But you should never feed honey to a child that's under one years old. Hmm. And so it's, it's a, a miracle food and it um, has shown signs in beating um, these viruses and such, but also you have reducing swelling and pain, skin softener. Is that just all a result of, of that bacterial makeup of it that allows it to, be, to do that? It does. Um, we talked about being antiseptic, but its most important thing is it's antimicrobial. Mm. So and it's a microbe, so that's viruses, funguses, and bacteria. And it just snuffs them out. Wow. Well, something to keep in mind is we're coming out of the winter season, but right. summer season just means more cuts and burns for all of you, maybe moms out there with children. So a great home remedy to use, honey. Well, Dr. Trudy, thank you for being on with us once again. Always a pleasure. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, throwing it back to you guys. Take it away.